Hey guys, welcome back to John Shankies, and today we are getting Miss Goldie set up for this season. It is a much needed thing um, with Jesse being out of school and doing the whole quarantine thing. He has been literally ripping our house apart. <laughs> um, he's got our deck ripped apart. Um, he has decided to get this deco redone on our house. Um, we've had new windows put in. So yeah, he's a little, um, what am I thinking of? Cooped up <laughs> to say the least. So this is a much needed thing to get the trailer ready to get gone for the weekend and out of here. So here is Jess. He is getting our batteries put in and ready. Should be good to go. So they are good to go for the season. Do you want to go put the slide out so we can get going on the inside? Yeah, I can do that. Awesome. Pushing the right button. Yeah, I'm pushing the right button. All right, let me try something. Slide out. Let me make sure I have my switch going. Okay, try it again. Um, I mean, it's kind of going. It's really slow, though. Since I have those batteries on the charger all winter. Okay. Well, <laughs> guess we need new batteries. New batteries? Uh, yep. You sure? They've well, been on the charger. I mean, I guess, yeah. They've been on the charger. Yeah, I don't know. Alright. Well, I'll work on that later. I'll plug in the trailer so you can put out the slide. Okay, thanks. Alright, it's plugged in. Should be working. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh. Just like that. All right, well, we'll add batteries to the list of things to check on tomorrow, but we can get through the rest of it tonight. So I'm pretty excited. I get to actually open up my mattress pad and my sheets that I ordered. I got the chocolate brown to match our interior. And uh, something that's really nice about these is they have the radius corner that matches our bed. Um, but I also got a top fitted foot. So my top sheet has the elastic on the bottom, which will stay tucked in because we don't have a footboard to hold them on very good. And Jesse sleeps like an alligator, so um, hopefully the sheets will stay on better. And I won't have to use the silly elastic straps to keep the bottom sheet on and all of that. So I'm pretty excited to throw these on our new mattress. I have the water hooked up and turned on. Before you turn on your water, always make sure to go through and make sure all your taps are closed. A lot of us leave those open in the winter so airflow and it doesn't freeze and stuff like that. But if you forget to shut those off, then you're out there with the hose on, flooding your sink. So we've done that many a times. So I have everything closed off. I'm just going to run some water through everything um, before I get the hot water heater going up because I don't want any of the antifreeze going into the hot water heater. Now that I've got all the antifreeze hopefully drained out, I'm going to go ahead and put the anode and the plug back in. That way, when I turn the hot water heater on, it doesn't come spurting all the water out at me. A little bit of tape. Now let's put it back in. Now that we got the plug in, I can turn the water back to the hot water heater 
and let it start filling up. And then after that, we will make sure it lights. Oh, and a nice, a wasp nest. Really need to put on those wasp protector things too. Well, here's my bypass. So I turn my bypass off. Turn both of these on. And I hear water running. All right, let's go out and see what's going on out there. We have the vent opened on the water heater. You can hear it filling up. No leaking as of yet. So we'll let that just fill up and we'll continue on. Next thing, the fridge. Seems like every year when we go to light the fridge on propane, it just doesn't light. So just preemptively, I'm going to take off the cover and look at it before I figure out that it doesn't light because I'm pretty sure it probably won't. Jesse's inside trying to get the fridge to light. And I am here just trying to <laughs> basically see if it does. I can hear clicking like it's trying to. Did it light? It's clicking. Does that account for something? Uh, let's see. No. You'd see the flames. Oh, and our water heater is now full. Now full. Okay. So this is not lit yet. I'm going to try it one more time, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to take this off and clean the igniter. All right, take two, guys. Nope, all right. Oh, it's beeping again inside. Okay. Take that apart like I thought. All right, so I guess while Jesse's going to grab some tools and what he needs to fix the fridge, I am going to uh, just work inside here and do some dusting. I can tell it kind of needs a little bit of sprucing up, so I'm gonna get to work. All right, so hopefully that's focused enough, but got a little cover off. Um, clean the soot and stuff down on this little burner right here. Um, I don't know why, it just builds up like a little uh, deposits on it or whatever, and it just won't light, uh, usually the first time of the year. So now I'll have Kara fire up the fridge and see if we can get this going. Hey, hon, will you try the fridge again? Yeah, you just press on. Okay, give it a shot, hon. And we got flame for the refrigerator. So now we'll let that run for a little while just to make sure it's good and cleaned off. Gets all the dust blown out of it, all that sort of stuff. Took a little bit more this time. Actually, I have to get out the sandpaper and clean it off a little bit more. So, um, but if your fridge ever won't light on propane, that is probably the reason. Now to see if the water heater lights. Yeah, go ahead and hit that water heater, hun. And just like that, water heater's lit. Putting on our mud dauber or wasp protection or bug protection or whatever over our furnace. That way you don't get bugs up in here building nests and stuff like that. Pretty easy to put on though. So you put these little springs in, 
take your little tool that comes with it and after you know four or five tries you can get it well there's one try there's two tries Three tries. Bada bing. Okay. Well, those should be good. Keep the wasp out. Uh, before I get loading stuff, I'm actually going to unload the whole front end. This is an area that gets neglected and just everything gets shoved in. Plus our nice blocks my father-in-law made for us, the gravel sticks to them. So when I, we throw them in every time, we get tons of gravel all throughout here. So I'm going to vacuum this out as well, just get it all nice and clean. So that way when we can go somewhere, it's ready to go. A little trick I found is to put a big piece of cardboard down in here. Helps keep everything clean, but it also protects your carpet. So the legs on tables and things like that and chairs don't accidentally rip up your carpet. It's helped maintain this really well. We were able to get everything ready to go, basically. Uh, just a few minor things to still get done, wash it, those sort of things before we go, because I hate going anywhere in a dirty trailer. <laughs> so I'll get that done in the next few days, and then hopefully this pandemic will get by. Yeah, I was able to get some things done here on the inside, some much needed dusting. That was a must. <laughs> vacuuming. Yeah, you know, vacuuming, just uh, getting everything, you know, spruced up, refreshed um, through the winter and whatever we missed when we closed it up. Yeah. Remember to like, subscribe, all those sort of things. It really helps out. Comment down below if you have any questions or if there's something you think we missed or whatever uh or suggestions those sort of things uh we'd love to help you out yeah and thanks again for joining us here at john junkies and enjoy your weekend thanks